Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to use express installation from file and be able to use your own dataset naming convention to install in control products like control M, control D, control V, control O, control M tape, and control M restart. For this video, we are going to assume that we have already downloaded and untersed our in control for ZOS installation file and that we have run the receive job to create our IOA install library. At this point, we can invoke ICE by using the mline command against our install dataset and locating the IOA ICE member and executing IOA ICE. To start the installation, we select installation from the main menu. Since this is our first time doing this, we need to review and accept the license agreement and then create our installation environment. Give it the environment name, an environment description, the installation prefix that we will be using, and the load library dataset name that was created by the receive job. Here, three to save it. Then choose Express Installation. We have to choose Interactive Installation first before we can try to use File Controlled Installation because Interactive Installation will produce the file we need for File Controlled Installation. You should choose all the product you have in the Products and Sizes screen. In this video, we are only going to choose Control M and Control D. Note that you have to hit PF11 to get to the next screens. We are going to take the defaults on these succeeding screens unless we're prompted that is that the parameter is mandatory, such as this one and this one. When we're prompted whether we want to continue, we want to choose F to save the file. This will create our installation file so we can use the express installation from file. Once the express installation has created member IOAF LINS in the INST work library, we can now exit ICE so we can start customizing our IOF LINS member to specify the dataset names we want to use. We recommend creating a copy of the IOAF LINS member so you can reserve your updates just in case you have to perform an uninstallation. We can now customize the copy of the IOAFLINS member we created in our source.jcl. If you want to implement your own dataset naming standards, for example, you can issue an XOL semicolon F, the IL pref A that you specified, and it will show you all the values that you'd want to customize. You can manually make all your changes here if you want. What I would recommend doing is to create an edit macro with all the changes you'd want to implement. This also provides you with a chance to add more changes that you would like to implement in case you miss some. Here is an example of the edit macro C Express that I coded for the customizations I want to do to my installation file. Once I have that edit macro coded, all I have to do is issue the C Express 
edit macro and my installation file will now have all the changes I want done to it. All I need to do now is save it, then go back to ICE. And choose installation again. Express installation again. We are going to use file controlled installation this time and provide it with our customized IOAFL INS member. Say yes to continue and hit enter. This will now use the express installation from file using the file you just customized. And by the time it's done, you would have a complete installation of all the products you've chosen for this installation. This could take 15 minutes or more. So grab your cup of coffee and do something else. And when you get back, you would have completed your installation from file. That concludes our video. Thank you for your time. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.